What's up everybody? This is VJ from Tech Imaginist. Welcome back to another video. So how are you guys doing? Stuck at home, I know, but I hope you guys are staying safe. So today we're going to be talking about something that can really improve the performance of your laptop. Faster read and write speeds, uh, faster boot up speeds. I'm talking of course about the M2 SSD. So this is the Lexar M2 and we're going to be installing this on my HP laptop and uh, this is going to be a little bit of a DIY video. So let's get right into it. So before we put the M2 in, let's just check how the boot times on the laptop are with the existing regular hard disk. First, I'll be booting it up with the fast startup feature on Windows 10 turned on. Then we will be disabling fast startup and doing another test. So that's about 8 seconds for the laptop to boot up with my regular hard disk with fast startup on Windows 10. So you can see that it's still sort of sluggish even after booting. This is what we aim to change with the M2. For the sake of science, let's take a look at the boot time from the laptop with fast startup turned off. You can disable this under control panel, power options, choose what the power buttons do and remove the checkbox from turn on fast startup. So in the meantime, what is fast startup? Fast startup or fast boot is a sort of hibernation of the system that saves the current state to the hibernation file and turns off the computer. So when you start up the computer again, Windows does not have to reload the system files or the drivers. Instead, it just refreshes your RAM with the loaded image from the hibernation file and delivers you to the login screen. All right. If you thought that was mumbo jumbo, let's just say that it gives you faster startup speeds and enabled by default in Windows 10. So as you can see here, without fast startup, my laptop that runs a decent Intel Core i5 processor and 8 GB of RAM takes about 44 seconds to boot from a normal hard disk. All right, before you do this, you should check if your laptop supports an M2 SSD. Otherwise, you can always get a regular 2.5 inch SSD and replace your existing hard disk. I'll link some of the best drives in the description below. So we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws around the back of the laptop. You can refer to repair videos online to learn how to open up yours. Keep your screws organized, by the way, and try this at your own risk. Once the screws are out, you'd need a plastic pry tool to unclip the back panel. Gently does it, and let's try not to break anything. Once the pry tool is in, I'm going to use a guitar pick to slide through and open the clips. This is the M2 slot right here, with the screw that holds the M2 drive in place. Here's the M2 SSD from Lexar. We're going to unscrew the holding screw and slide the M2 and screw it down in place. Putting back the back panel is easy enough, but don't press too hard or you damage the clips. Put the screws back on and then you're done. Back in business. Let's hope this thing still works. Before I forget, you're going to have to reinstall Windows and configure the M2 SSD as the Windows Drive C to get this performance. With fast startup turned off, that's roughly about 11 seconds boot time on the SSD instead of the 44 seconds on the regular hard drive. Let's take a look at how fast it boots with fast startup turned on. Three point two seconds. Wow. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
it's not just the boot times, but the entire performance of the laptop that matters, right? Ah, my favorite. We all know Google Chrome is a bit heavy on our systems. It normally takes a while to open up and load, but not on an SSD. You can open as many browsers as your RAM supports without batting an eye. So let's take a look at how fast the system responds with some basic tasks. We'll open a few Word and Excel files and see how fast they load. One of the bottlenecks of old magnetic hard disk technology is its slower read and write speeds. So sometimes the processor just has to wait till the slower hard disk in the memory hierarchy provides the required data. And faster read and write speeds is just the reason why the SSD makes everything snappier. It also helps open heavier programs without stalling whatever you're doing. So that's it folks. This was not a paid review and this video does not represent Lexar or HP in any way. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Take care and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching.